Sorry, Lego Mario. You think you were gonna get this whole month to yourself? And a Doctor Who special, January 1st. No chance. Yeah, hey guys, it's your guy, Toe Guy. Um, it is four minutes past eight here in the magical Turtle Guy Studios <laughs> in Turtle Guy Land. Um, the Doctor Who Resolution of the Dog special has just finished. And wow. I liked it. I honestly don't have any complaints about it. I personally loved it. Maybe upon rewatching it, I'll dislike it. I, f I feel like everyone got great amount of time for everyone. Maybe it's just me, but I, f I, f oh, I sound a little teary eyed. I sound a little out of breath or something. But I thought it was great. Um, a little bit of time with Graham would have been nice. But anyway, I'm getting. I'm already getting my. Alright, so let's set it up. The Doctor is in prison. The Daleks are coming back. And it's all pure chaos. Um. So yeah, that's the basic plot. It started out with this guy made an appearance. As I thought, they basically reused his shell and made security drones. Jack Robinson from the Tarantula episode was there. I th certain points I thought they were going to go with he's just this really bad human person. Oh, jeez. He, he does call himself a human person. But I just really thought they were going to go that much even darker with him. Because he was a bit of a joke in the... Arachnids in the UK episode. But he was alright. Again, maybe rewatching it, he'll become a little bit annoying. He did have a bit of an edge to him. He kind of just wanted to be on the winning side. And I really hope he shows up again. He was actually pretty good. And he survived. The other side characters, the scientist guy that also helped design them, he was good and he was kind of foolish. But he was a really good way to introduce... These other version of Daleks, the mutation, and then the classic bronze Dalek showing up again. Lovely to see him. But we have to even, we have to kind of backtrack a bit because the Doctor was in prison in that red jumpsuit uniform. It didn't last long, but I do like that they showed it at the start and then they showed it again. Also, I have a question. Please someone comment down below. I need information here. Was the Ood and the Sycorax, they were in the same cage, and she calls them Bonnie and Clyde. I, may, I don't want to, maybe one of them was female, but were they a couple? I need more information on this. Listen, if we go back to that prison, I want to see what were those two in for, and what were they doing? Also, there was a weeping angel, and a silence, and she says the little joke, oh, I forgot you were here. Um, who else? There was a bunch of, there was the Pating, the Pating went away. To be replaced by another character, we'll get right into. And, um, oh god. Jack shows up. He shows up really early on. I'm so glad. That was probably the best way you'd introduce him, because he wouldn't really know where any of the fam lives. He'd come for the doctor primarily. And, I don't know. At the start, it was like, oh, we. I thought she'd be in prison for the whole thing. But no, it was just a few minutes type thing, and then she kind of shows up. She did kind of overstepped just i kind of wish they'd leave her there a little bit longer with the whole like jack rescuing her that's fine but i kind of would have loved to see the fam try and deal with deal with the situation a bit more they all kind of had their own well i don't know um oh my god yaz was kind of addicted to the doctor i really want to see that also more developed because that seems like her whole life is the Doctor. Her life was on pause and now it's starting again. She'll probably leave at the end of next season. Or die. But I'm, I'm curious to see more about this. We'll get more into the companions going and leaving in a little bit. The Daleks was great. The Prime Minister lady getting dushk. Oh. It's just pure raw thoughts I'm thinking. Jack was great. Of course, they gave a nod to everything. Little nod to Rose, and a nod to Gwen, and possibly, what? Yeah, so Gwen's still about, so... Is that a Torchwood revival? Is that is that just a little piece of... No mention of it, but anyway. Um, yeah, uh, let's just... I'm gonna break this down character by character, because clearly I'm going off tangents for like four minutes, and then we'll go with the conclusion, and what could possibly happen next season? So, first of all, the Doctor, she's in prison, 
Um, that was fine. And then when she gets out of prison, I loved her at the end. Where she was like, oh, I can go back and I can fix this. And then Yaz was the person, no, you can't. You have to deal with this. I feel Yaz and the Doctor, or definitely Yaz anyway, had the top performance in this episode. And I can't wait to see more about her next season. Again, we'll talk about that when we speak about next season. Ryan and Graham, you can see that they are slightly changed. Although Graham kind of wants to go adventuring. And it is, at the end, oh, spoiler warning, duh. I'll probably put that in the description, but Graham is definitely the person he kind of wanted to go with Ryan. Their relationship is really fully formed by the end of it. He didn't have much to do, because I feel like he'd just follow whatever Ryan does. Ryan... Ryan St. Clair, he just kind of... I liked him, he just... And this was kind of set up earlier in the series, in series 12... That, um, in my opinion, I don't know, I'm going to get a bunch of anger comments now. Um, he just basically he didn't want to be left alone. He just, he knew maybe, oh, this traveling and this leaving people. Not for him, maybe. Or not, I don't know. Ryan gave a really great performance, along with Graham at the end. Those two nearly made me cry. But, again, like I said... These are just my little Graham and Ryan section. I don't... I'm not gonna bother with time codes because I want to get this up quick. Um, that was really emotional near the end, especially the bit, again, full spoilers, Grace reappears when he's trying to ride the bike. He can't ride the bike still, or he's try. Oh, God. He's, he's getting better at riding the bike. I'd love if he would reappear maybe sometime next season along with Graham because it seems like they're going on adventures, and plus, the Doctor gives them some spare psychic paper. So, I don't know if they do a spin-off or anything, but I would personally love to see them again. Maybe sometime next year for another Earth ep- I feel like they could come back next next year. But again, I'm still talking about next season. Captain Jack! He's back! He just is great. I love the little chat he has with Yaz, fighting off the Dalek squid thingies in that lab. Oh, as for the Daleks, because I feel they're just as good as a character, they were great, I love the mutation where he's like, I can be better, I can be, and the Daleks are having none of it, the classic bronze ones are back, get out of here with those security defense ones, yeah, gotta love it, I, I don't have any major complaints, again, my only biggest complaint, and I'm ranting and raving like a lunatic, sorry, this is my first Doctor Who review in a while, um, it was very fast paced at one point, they got the Doctor out of, you know, at the start it was very fast paced where, oh we got the Doctor out of prison, oh we got Jack, and then, oh we gotta stop the Daleks, and then it went on a bit of a pot, almost a, even that bit where they were with like, the scientist guy, I can't remember his name, and he was just there, he, he was possessed by the Dalek, and then they were just there while the Doctor was like talking, I'm like, so Dalek, he's gonna kill you, and that, he was waiting for the thing, the UV light, go, tra- transporting them was also very smart, because these are reconnaissance Daleks, I'm guessing the way they had the human muta- mutation was because he cloned himself, or, I don't know, because the other guy bringing him back, uh, Jack Robinson, like I said at the start, very, I'd love to see him again, but even, because last time, bit of a, ugh, he was like a really bad Trump impersonate, impersonation, this time he's gotten a bit into his own, where he's like this, he's out for number one, he doesn't care about anyone because he keeps trying these things, he gets saved by the doctor multiple times, doesn't care, and I, at the end of it, he's still number one, he more or less caused this by stealing the remnant of the reconnaissance Dalek, but no, he still comes out number one, and potentially with a presidential plan on the horizon, he's, he's definitely gonna have to come back, at least at some point, but yeah, um, I'm, I don't know, I think I'm gonna have to rate this maybe at 8 or 8, 8.5 of the minute, 8.5 in need of a rewatch, I'll probably, I am currently rewatching, speaking of, series 1, so I'll probably double back and do maybe a few reviews, leading up into series 12, 
But oh, come on, fine. We're nearing, we're nearing the end of this, which means we need to talk about next season. Spoilers for next season. So, <coughs> pardon me. So Doctor and Yaz are left in the TARDIS after Ryan and Graham leave. Again, like I said, I hope they come back for at least one episode. If not both of them, maybe one of them. But yeah, um, curious to see what happens. Also, it's coming back in 21 this year. Um, some on-set photos, again, major spoilers for next series, series 13. There was some Santaran spot a while ago when they were filming. No other filming pictures. They started in October. There will only be eight episodes this season. Not sure if that includes another New Year special. Maybe a Christmas special for once. Um, if they're doing a New Year special, then maybe. I don't know. I feel like they would. And they'll probably film it back to back. But, um... That episode featuring Santaran also featured a pumpkin. This is where a terrible guy goes full conspiracy guy. <laughs> I believe that series 13 will begin airing, oh god, September or October, maybe? Okay, late October, no, late September, early October, November at the latest, I think. And then it'll do the, its full, because I think they had to cut it down by 8 episodes. They wouldn't have had to cut it down by 8 episodes if they didn't want it on for 21. So clearly, it'll be very late, but I'm thinking in or out. There's probably some article already came out that's like, oh yeah, we're coming back this time. They're, very, they're always ambiguous about the day I'm going to guess. Because they're currently filming now, they'll probably wrap in April or June. And then it'll be out sometime. September, October, November. I just have those three months, just in case. I was thinking, oh, maybe August. No, I think probably... Um, there we go. That's the umbrella. That's probably what we're going to be told. And then they announced a new companion at the end. John Bishop, I believe. He's a comedian. Um, I didn't even know that was an announcement thingy. I thought it was just some sort of ad. But it's not. He will be next series. And I think... I think it's a great casting. I don't know nothing about his character. He seems to be some type of builder, but... Here's my... Here's my idea. Or here's my thought process here. They looked at um, Bradley Walsh, the actor who plays Graham. He was kind of a comedian, kind of a public... You know, kind of one of... Not an actor, but kind of a funny man kind of type dealy. And they were like... <laughs> Bradley Walsh is pretty good as Graham. I personally think so, because he nearly made me cry. Some of the other, especially in series 12. So, yeah. Also, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with Yaz and this new builder. I'm just going to keep calling him a builder, because he was on a building site. He could be a plumber, for all I know. I think it'll be great, series 13. I think they've gotten their rhythm. If all of next season is like this, with callbacks... Please bring some old and new monsters back next season, because I think you were great at it. If if it repeats the quality that was the 12th season, focus maybe on the Doctor getting her memories back, and also more of a focus on Yaz, because I feel ele series 11 and 12 didn't focus on her enough. But I'm talking about next season. That's it. That's it for next season. I think it'll be good. This new actor they have, I, I wish him all the best. I think he'll be fine. I personally think it'll be fine from the little teaser they showed. It looked great. But yeah, resolution of the Daleks, I thought it was great. I love the old Daleks coming back. The effects were great. Like I said, it was a little fast paced at times. I'll rewatch it maybe. I don't think I'll hit it because I loved resolution. The last New Year's special, this one was just as good. It had f action fully packed. A little disappointed they didn't kill off any of the companions. But. I mean, two of them were leaving, why not? But, I mean, because you kind of, I don't know. Anyway, I mean, like, kill them. But, yeah, so, I think Resolution of the Daleks, you should check it out. Maybe I'll, maybe later I'll be like, oh, I shouldn't have done that review so quick, because now there's so many problems popping up in my head. I think it was, I think it was great. I loved it. I cannot think of any problems at all. Jack was great. I feel they did send him off in a kind of a rushed manner. Also, I'm trying to think. They kept him very... Clos not closeted, because that's definitely not the right word. They kept him very indoors. 
there was very few scenes where he was actually out and about walking. Again, like I said, he loved some of the scenes he did. But most of the scenes he was in was indoors. Why? Because they tried keeping a secret. Um, oh, I definitely think he should return again. But there's no rush. Having him there again was great. <laughs> Torchwood, you know, revival or like a Jack spin-off series for like one series. Wouldn't be bad. Anyway, I'm full of fluster of ideas. Maybe I'll do a full video on series 13 of Doctor Who. More Doctor Who reviews will be coming at a slower pace. <laughs> Don't worry, Mario. You will get your time in the sun this month, and then and then you will be hidden until your next wave comes out. Um, but yeah, Doctor Who Resolution of the Daleks New Year's Special, just a lovely bow under Series Twelve. I'm I'm counting it as Series Twelve. I don't care. As a whole, I loved it. Can't wait for Series Thirteen in the autumn, in the winter, in the autumn. I think, I think it'll be again, October November. And then it will stop, and then there'll be a special, and then we'll have to wait two years or something. Anyway, I've, this video has gone on way too long. We're nearing 20 minutes. Thank you so much for listening to me babble on. Leave a like if you would like. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm your guy, Tittle Guy, saying bye, guys. And consider subscribing. It's not always Lego Mario, I swear. <laughs>